is about thinking and, and awareness. Two different things. There's a big difference between thinking something and just being aware and taking note of something. While an awareness of something is not exactly realization, it seems to be related. For example, being aware or becoming aware of a knee-jerk reaction that we just had to something, it's not the same thing as thinking about the reaction and what caused it, what caused us to react. The first, being aware, the first is simply becoming aware of something, taking note, noting. The second is dwelling on it or its cause. And why is this important? For one, the word Buddha means awareness, aware. Dharma is all about and only about awareness, becoming increasingly aware of, well, everything. Thinking about something, about what it is, where it came from, what might happen, and so on, is not the same as becoming aware of something. In other words, once a train of thought has left the station and taken us with it, who knows how far it will go and how long it will last. It can be weeks that we are upset about some thought. On the other hand, simple awareness is instantaneous. We just take note and we drop it. We are aware of it. That's enough. Becoming aware of something, much like realizing something, is self-sorting. It's like the hummingbird sampling the flower in midair, which was the logo I designed for our Dharma Center decades ago. It was a four-foot circle on the outside of the house in two places. Uh, with a big chakra in the middle of which was a hummingbird uh, feeding from a flower. I might try to put it in this uh, video, I'm not sure. Anyway, awareness, in my opinion, is the key to so much. Instead, if instead of thinking about everything, you know, where, what, why, and when, if we just took note, became aware of what what is happening in the present moment as we go along, it's a much better solution. And we can start with our own reactions to just about everything. Just take note of each reaction and then drop it. Don't think about it. Don't think about what caused it, why it happened, who's to blame, etc. I find that simply being aware of each reaction, each of our reactions and owning it as ours, causes that reaction to begin to tone back and to slowly dissolve. I have a number of articles um, that you can read about this if you really get serious. They're all on um, michaelearlywine.com M-I-C-H-A-E-L-E-R-L-E-W-I-N-E dot -E -E com and you look for the section on Dharma and there you look for like reactivity or reactivity tongue, tongue lens. Um, okay.